topics. Yeah. Hi students, welcome to One Minute Micro Techniques with Lisa Schimmel. Today I want to show you how to pour plates. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to take some talls of triptych soy auger, TSA, and I'm going to show you how to um, pour them into these sterile petri plates. We want to do that aseptically so we don't um, contaminate the auger and then we'll let the plate solidify and then they can be used in an experiment. Okay, low tech, high tech here, guys. Um, this diagram is showing you a, uh, a Bunsen burner with a coffee can on it. Uh, and um, there are two TSA talls in here. Now, the amount of water that you put in the tube is actually rather critical. As you can see in my diagram, you can see the level of the, um, of the auger in the tube, and the water level wants, or needs to be excuse me, about the same height. The reason for that is this. If you put any more water in than this, when the water starts to boil, uh, because you're going to need to loosen the screw cap of the tube to melt these talls down, then water may enter the tube and contaminate the auger. If the water level is below the level, or, yeah, if the water level is below the level of the auger in the tube, no matter how long you boil it, it is not going to melt. So uh, first of all, I loosen the screw cap, I put the talls in the can of water, lit the Bunsen burner, uh, and boiled the water until the uh, TSA talls were melted. All right, now I'm going to show you how to pour the, the plates. I'm going to uh, reach into this tube with my handy dandy wire test tube holder. And then what I'm going to do is I will pick the tube up with the test tube holder. I will remove the cap. This is about the only time that it's okay to remove a cap from a tube and just set it down. Then I'm gonna just barely crack the lid open just a little bit. Now, I wanna make sure that when I pour the TSA tall in here, that I pour it into the, um, the bottom of the plate, which is the half with the smaller diameter. And I don't wanna just take the lid off or I'm going to contaminate uh, the, um, the media in the plate. So I'm gonna just barely lift the lid up enough to get in here. I'm gonna pour the entire content of the tube uh, into the plate and I'm not sure that you can see this in the video but the auger didn't completely cover the bottom of the plate so I'm just going to give it a little little swirl like this uh, very gentle very gentle and then I'm going to just crack the lid uh, for a moment like this to let some of that excess steam vent um, after literally about a minute or so I'll replace the lid I'll let the plate uh, sit here until the auger has solidified. That'll probably take maybe five minutes or so. Um, and then once that's done, the plate will be ready to use. Now I did want to point out that there are some visual clues as to whether or not the TSA is melted. Now when TSA is melted, it will be a nice um, uh, clear golden color like this. And when it is solid, it'll have a more opaque look. All right, and so um, once you've poured the TSA into the plate, it, it still looks clear and golden. Once it has solidified, it will once again become opaque. All right, great. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have fun pouring plates.